as Elon Musk said back in early 2025. It's especially not just a revolution in vehicle. It is not just a revolution in vehicle design. It is a revolution in vehicle manufacturing. He was not exaggerating. But there is a part he did not say on stage, a part that matters a lot more to you than factory robots and fancy engineering diagrams. You've been driving the same car for 12, maybe 15 years. Every time you slide into the driver's seat, your lower back reminds you it is not 1995 anymore. Gas is $4.50 a gallon. Last month your mechanic handed you a $1,400 repair bill you did not see coming. Your kids keep telling you, Dad just get something new. Get something safer. You go online you walk past a dealership and what do you see? $35,000. $40,000. $50,000 for a car that will be worth half of that in three years if you are lucky. An electric? Too expensive. Too complicated. Feels like it is for tech people, not for men who spent decades working with our hands raising families and paying bills. So you tell yourself, I will just keep what I have a bit longer, even though every rattle, every new dash light, every warning sound makes your stomach tighten a little. Except now, everything just shifted. It is 2026. You are behind the wheel of a brand new Tesla. It is quicker than anything you have owned, steadier on the road than any car you have driven, and it costs almost nothing to maintain. The price on the sticker after incentives, $12,749. Not a typo. Not a starts at T's. A real number in reach for men who are retired, almost retired, or simply tired of being squeezed by the car industry. This is the Tesla Model 2. And over the next few minutes I am going to show you why this is the first vehicle in 30 years designed for men who have put in the work, paid our dues, and deserve better than what Detroit has been pushing. We are going to walk through how this car solves 7 real problems, what you pay up front, how far you can actually drive, getting in and out without your back punishing you, having space for the things you really carry, what you spend on repairs, what happens when the battery eventually wears down, and whether this price is just talk or actually holds up when you do the math. Before we dive deep, take a second to subscribe to Torque Element and turn on notifications. We are pushing toward our first goal of 3,000 subscribers, and your click is what lets us keep bringing honest number back breakdowns like this. Think of it as joining a small crew of people who want useful answers, not just shiny ads. Let us start with something you feel every single day, the size and space of the car and whether it fits real American life instead of a designer sketchbook. The Model 2 is about 13.8 feet long and 5.6 feet wide. That makes it around 10% shorter and 8% narrower than a Model 3. In real life that matters more than you might think. In crowded states like California, Florida, and Arizona, Roughly 94% of parallel parking spots can fit this car comfortably. That means fewer loops around the block in places like San Diego or Scottsdale while you pray for a space that is big enough. The turning radius is only about 34.2 feet. That translates into easy U-turns in cul-de-sacs, smooth navigation at Costco, and no more awkward three-point turns just to leave a pharmacy drive through The width means you can slide into parking slots that would make a Camry driver think twice. Those painted lines and older parking garages that seem to shrink every year suddenly stop being your enemy. You fit with room to spare on both sides and you stop holding your breath when you open the door, hoping you do not smack the car parked next to you. Now think about what you actually carry. With the rear seats up, the trunk gives you about 18 and a half cubic feet of space. That is enough for four golf bags plus two 28-inch suitcases, or a folded wheelchair plus a week's worth of Costco groceries. Your dog can ride back there comfortably too, especially with the seats folded. Drop the 60-40 rear bench flat and the space jumps to around 41 cubic feet. That is weekend camping gear, grandkids sports equipment, toolboxes, or even a flat sleeping surface if you need to rest at a highway stop while you wait for your grandson's early morning game. Up front, you get a 3.1 cubic foot frunk, the front trunk. It is perfect for a medication bag, a small cooler, charging cables, and emergency supplies you want to keep separate from everything else. The floor throughout is completely flat. There is no transmission tunnel, no exhaust hump. When you fold the seats down, you get a level, usable surface instead of weird bumps and wasted pockets of space. In a small car that makes the difference between, it kind of fits, and this actually works for real life. Now we need to tackle the big fear that keeps most people over 50 from truly considering electric, range and charging. Is this going to leave you stranded? How often do you need to plug in? What happens when winter hits? The Model 2 runs a 50 to 53 kilowatt hour sodium ion battery. That means no expensive lithium or cobalt inside, and that is one of the keys to keeping the price down while still giving you serious performance. 
Real world range is around 355 to 370 miles at about 70 miles per hour on the freeway. This is based on the 2025 EPA testing cycle, the same style of standard used to rate gasoline mileage. These are not fantasy numbers from a lab where they crawl along at 30 miles per hour with the air conditioning off. Let us make that distance real. Phoenix to San Diego is about 355 miles. You leave on a full charge and roll into town without stopping. Tampa to Miami is around 280 miles. You make that run with something like 70 miles still in the pack. From Sacramento to Los Angeles, you not only get to the city, you still have juice left to circle for parking, visit friends, or get to your hotel on the other side of town. This is highway driving with the AC on, the radio playing, and you actually keeping pace with traffic. No hypermiling tricks, no crawling in the slow lane. For Americans over 60, roughly 73% of daily trips are under 35 miles. In that reality you are charging once a week, maybe twice if you have a heavy schedule. Now compare that to a gas car with fuel at $4.50 per gallon. Filling up a typical compact sedan can easily run $60 to $70 a week. With the Model 2, if you charge at home on a 240-volt outlet overnight, your weekly fuel bill is closer to $8 to $11, depending on your local electricity rate. Over a year that adds up. Over a decade, it is the difference between working for your car and your car working for you. Tesla backs the battery and drivetrain with a 12-year or 200,000-mile warranty. When the pack does eventually wear down, replacement around year 12 to 15 is estimated in the $3,200 to $3,800 range. That is less than replacing a gas engine and transmission today, which can easily land between $5,500 and $7,000 once you factor in labor and taxes. On the road, when you need to charge fast, Supercharger V4 stations can take the Model 2 from 10% to 80% in about 18 to 19 minutes. That is enough time for a restroom break, a coffee, a quick stretch and then you are back behind the wheel. And it is not like stopping at some sketchy old gas station with one flickering light. Most supercharger locations sit next to clean restrooms, coffee shops and decent restaurants, in well-lit areas where you feel safe getting out of the car at night. There are already more than 2,100 supercharger locations across the United States. On major highways you are rarely more than 30 miles from a fast charger. For long trips, the car plans your route and stops for you. You just follow the map, plug in when it tells you and you are on your way. But let us talk about something most spec sheets ignore. Your back, your knees, your hips. The Model 2's butterfly doors are not a party trick. They are a back saver. Traditional doors swing outward. On a Model Y, door sills sit about 13.8 inches above the ground. On something like a Ford Mustang Mach-E, they can be 16 and a half inches. To get in you have to bend down, tilt your head, twist your spine and drop your weight into the seat. That twisting motion loads your lower back again and again. For the roughly 64% of Americans over 65 who live with some form of arthritis, that is not just uncomfortable. It is a shot of pain every single entry and exit. Think about how many times you do that in a day. Two entries for errands. For if you go to the doctor and then to the store and back home. Six times if you are all over town. That is six little reminders that the simple act of getting into your own car has turned into a problem. Multiply that by 365 days. You are talking about more than 2,000 painful movements every year. And the industry shrugs and calls it normal aging. The Model 2 attacks that problem directly. Its butterfly doors open upward with a double hinge, swinging to around 90 degrees. The door sill is only about 6.7 inches off the ground, roughly half the height of a Model Y. You lead with your foot, step in, keep your back straight and lower yourself naturally into the seat. No twisting. No deep bend. No weird sideways collapse. Orthopedic doctors who looked at this type of motion estimate a reduction of rotational force on the lumbar spine of around 70% compared to standard door designs. That means more pain-free mornings instead of reaching for a heating pad or pain pills because a trip to the store lit up your back. Sensors set into the roof rail and doors scan overhead and sideways space within about 12 inches. In a low-clearance garage or carport with hanging lights or pipes, the door automatically adjusts how high it lifts. You press the handle, it opens in about 1.2 to 1.6 seconds, smooth and controlled, never slamming. A soft close motor pulls it gently shut the last quarter inch, protecting seals and keeping wind noise down. You do not need to yank anything with your shoulder. If the 12-volt system fails or the car ends up standing in water, there is a mechanical backup. You can manually open from the inside with about 15 pounds of pulling force. Third-party safety tests show roof-mounted locking claws tying into the side frame, 
adding roughly 12% lateral stiffness in side impacts. That means the structure holds its shape better when hit from the side, protecting you and your passengers when it counts. And there is another quiet benefit, tight parking spots. You know the routine. You find a space at the grocery store, squeeze between two giant SUVs, and realize you cannot open your door wide enough to get out. You are stuck trying to shimmy through an 8-inch gap, banging your knee on the center console and scraping your jacket. With doors that go up instead of swinging out, the Model 2 needs only around 11 inches of side clearance. Those nightmare spots at Costco on a Saturday? Now you just park and step out. In garages with concrete pillars a few inches from your door, you climb in and out easily while the person next to you in a regular sedan is still fighting their way out sideways. This is about more than convenience. It is about independence. Maybe you know someone like my friend Frank. He is 68 with a herniated disc from years in construction. Climbing into his tall truck hurts now. He told me he was thinking about giving up driving because getting in and out is becoming too painful. His daughter is asking him to move closer so she can drive him to appointments. A man who built half the houses in his town should not have to give up his independence because no one thought about door design. Butterfly doors on the Model 2 mean Frank keeps driving. You keep driving. We stay independent, active, and in control of our own lives for another 10 or 20 years instead of giving up the wheel early. Drop a comment and tell me what year your current car is, and what part of getting in and out bothers you the most. We actually read those and they shape what we cover next. Now let us talk about durability and lifetime cost because this is where all the pieces come together. The Model 2 is built using Tesla's new unboxed manufacturing method, cleared in late 2025. Instead of building a frame as one long sequence, Different modules are built at the same time and then bonded together using aerospace-grade structural adhesive originally developed with SpaceX. Traditional cars use 4,500 to 5,000 bolts and welds. Each one of those points is a potential weak spot where gaps, vibrations, squeaks, and frame warping can start over time. The Model 2 cuts that down to around 450 connection points, 95% fewer places for trouble to begin. The adhesive used can handle forces above 20,000 pounds per square inch the equivalent of a five-ton elephant standing on a postage stamp. There is also something harder to measure but just as real. Peace of mind. When was the last time you drove somewhere without that quiet little voice in the back of your head saying, is today the day something big breaks? With the Model 2 that feeling fades. There is no oil to change, no transmission to fail, no timing belt waiting to snap at 90,000 miles. The drivetrain is simple and proven. Most gasoline cars lose 50 to 60% of their value after 5 years. The Chevy Bolt, for example, retains only around 38%. Projections for the Model 2, based on Tesla's resale history and the unboxed frame durability, suggest it could hold 82 to 85% of its value after 5 years. That is an extra four to $6,000 in your pocket when you trade in or sell, money you do not have to leave on the table. This car is not built for kids racing each other away from stoplights. It is not a toy for tech obsessives who need the latest gadget every 12 months. This is the first Tesla built with men like us at the center of the design. Men who have spent 30, 40, 50 years showing up, doing the work, paying the bills, raising families, rarely asking for anything in return. Men who want a new car without cashing out retirement savings. Men who want to sit down and stand up without being reminded how old our joints are. Men who would rather leave an inheritance than a stack of unpaid repair bills. $12,749. Well over 360 miles per charge. Doors that do not hurt your back. Almost no major maintenance for two decades. If you are over 55 and this makes sense to you, hit that thumbs up right now. Tag the friend who is still driving an old 2008 Camry and swears electric cars are just a fad. Then subscribe to Torque Element and turn on that bell. We are aiming for 3,000 subscribers, and when Elon opens Model 2 reservations in the first quarter of 2026, we want you to have a full 24 hours of advance notice so you can lock in this pricing before tens of thousands of other people rush in. Next week we are breaking down the autonomous driving system in the Model 2 and why it is quietly becoming the safest technology on the road, especially for those of us whose night vision is not what it used to be. You are not going to want to miss that.